step number 45, day 102 of prepping the bus for paint. <laughs> We're sanding the primer on the entire bus with the gray scotch pads, scotch bright pads from yes, 3M. Ultra fine. Ultra fine. I went ahead and I painted an SOS on the front of the bus and maybe somebody will rescue us. Right? Help! Well, oh. needless to say, I'm tired of sanding already. Yep. I've only gotten started and I'm already bored with it. Yeah. <laughs> totally bored with it. Oh yeah, and by the way, Mike came home from work this morning, changed out of his work clothes, and came outside and got started. And then I went and got dressed, and look how we turned out. That was an accident. We're not that nerdy. It just happened. We're like great minds think alike. That's what it is. You guys, it's six o'clock in the morning and it's 47 degrees out here. I'm freezing cold. <laughs> But it's going to be like 100 degrees in the afternoon. That's how crazy the weather is where we live in Arizona. The white paint is going on the bus. He's doing a killer job. This is now the second coat of white on this side, and it's looking fantastic. Okay, so here's the thing, is that this part needs to be going up, so I can't just go like this. You have to turn it upside do down. It upside down. So I guess we could start from back here, huh? Yeah, that would make sense. No, don't be lame. Yeah, we're not too worried about the this rub rail because we're going to paint it black. It'll cover everything. It just gets stuck on itself in the wrong place. It really does. It's such a stuff can be so helpful and so horrible at the That's same time. Yeah. Is it a blessing or a nightmare? A blessing or a nightmare? It's just strictly to protect the white, not not the whole everything. I just don't want this to turn out like a total disaster. Yeah. Well, between the last segment you just saw on the shady side of the bus and this side, I had a pretty stiff drink. So these lines are not going to be very straight. <laughs> I'm not safe to drive right now and this is not safe for work. <laughs> I need your help. Are you starting on the hot part? Well, I have to because it's the way the tape goes out. Got a point there. Check this out. Just made it to the end of the tape. It right here. Exactly at the end. Quarter inch long. <sighs> nice Maybe three one. Eighths, okay. We'll give it three eighths just to be nice. Mr. Meticulous over here. Oh, it's, no, no. Here we no, go. No, it's stuck in the tape again. Oh, here we go again. No. Mike's about to have just a little meltdown. Poor little suicide bugs that have died in all this. Look at this big helper. She's holding the bumper down. Good thing she's here. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> it's too early for this. Yeah. At least I dressed more appropriately for the weather today, for the freeziness. What I don't have in my tools, and I know you find this hard to believe, is a paint shaker cabinet. What? I know. <laughs> These are already pretty shaking. I'm just giving them a little extra love there. <laughs> what color is it gonna be? 
How does it look? Um, shocking? Shocking, but uh, first coat. That's how it looks. It looks very first coat. Wow! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing it. That is some crazy green. That's like Shrek green. It is, huh? It is totally Shrek green. <laughs> Dude, I love it. <laughs> Good. I freaking love it. Zero regrets on the color. Good. Like, it looks good to me. It's actually just really cool to see color going on to this thing. Yeah, it is. I know, green is a very controversial color. Not everybody loves green. But it's kind of off the beaten path as far as colors to paint your bus. Like we thought about red, we thought about lots of different shades of blue, but we see lots of buses in those colors and we wanted something a little bit different. This is different. <laughs> it's like Kawasaki green. It's like a giant dirt bike. It's our dirt bus. <laughs> This is crazy vibrant. Uh, the color is called Vibrant Meadow. <laughs> it is vibrant. They really nailed it with the name. Oh shit. I'm gonna tape off the door. Yeah. Oh, the handle. hot water heater and our shower finally got painted so they'll be nice and protected from now on He's actually spraying the second coat right now, but it's not as exciting to watch it go green over green as it was to watch it go green over gray. But it's going great. It's looking good. Second coat always looks the best, man. It does look great. My arm is getting worked though. Oh, I bet. Mike is going strong on his third coat now. He's unstoppable. There's a little like trail. <laughs> a little bug trail in the paint? Yeah. Bugs are our number one problem. We had to get tweezers to remove bugs from the paint. You done up here? Yep. It looks so good. How do you like it? I do, I really like it. <laughs> it's very exciting to see it a different color. It's so cool. I can't believe you're peeling this off while it's still wet. That's when you peel it off. I don't understand why you don't understand that. It just freaks me <laughs> out like you're going to touch the wet paint and mess it up. Uh, it's a little bit tacky up here. Wow. Kind of cool looking. Very. It's a little trim color there, but that's it. Mike took the side view mirrors completely apart. There's just all these dangling little pieces hanging from the rafters. If we paint these, 
and make them look really nice with like the base color. Um, these little accents like this will really make a difference, I think. I spent about $3,000 on blue tape, you know. Right? Easily as much as we spent on paint. <laughs> Taping, papering, and painting. Day 187. Yeah, I need your help over here, please. I know you're probably thinking, what color could they be shooting now? They've already done primer, they've already done white, they've already done green. What is there possibly left to paint? You have underestimated Mike Guyver. <laughs> He's always got a little bit more something in store, right? <laughs> Looks pretty freaking good so far, doesn't it? That isn't bad. I like it. God, I really like that. High oh, five, man. baby. Good work. That looks freaking good. Got a Green Lantern thing going on. It's the Green Lantern bus. That's what it looks like. Incredible Hulk bus, Shrek bus, all of the above. Hell yeah. That looks, that looks so good. It does. It looks shrektacular. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna barf. You know, it was so weird how we got all the way to green. Like it was, we really went through a lot to get to this color. Yeah, screen. and by the way, only two people guessed the right color in the comments below our last video. That was Craven M who totally nailed it when he said Mountain Dew Green because the hint Mike was talking about was that he was wearing the green Mountain Dew shirt. And then the other person was Robert McDowell who just guessed green and got it right. Everybody else pretty much was guessing white because they heard Mike say something about the white overspray or they were guessing blue for some reason, probably because of the color we painted our kitchen cabinets and other people thought maybe we would go with the same color on our bus, I don't know. I realize not everybody's gonna love the green. Green is not every person's favorite color. It's kind of an underdog among favorite colors. It's our favorite color. Well, the thing that I think I've found over the years is that when you do find someone who really likes green or says green is their favorite color, they're usually a super down to earth person that's like wants to be outdoors, spending time in nature. Well, green is the color of nature really. So I guess it's fitting that we painted our bus green because we want to spend more time in nature. So I don't know, I guess we've got a theme going on here. The getting back to nature bus. And here's the pro admiring his masterpiece. Whatever. I'm just tickled, man. I love it. I love it. It just looks so darn good. It, it just, sure does. I love it. <laughs> A lot of work went into this. A yeah. lot of work. And we're not even done yet. The sending never ends. <laughs> like, it just doesn't ever end. <laughs> I should have known that's what you were going to say. Obviously, we didn't get the little grill piece done on the day we actually sprayed the whole bus. <laughs> so, we're getting it now. Oh, and we have some touch up. A couple of little places we have to do touch-ups in the green paint on the bus, so all that's going to happen today. That's right. Oh. Two eyebrows. Yes. Just 
little touch-ups on some spots we missed or um, some overspray we got, a little bit of black overspray. So we're just covering it back over. And there's one more little spot we need to touch up. Perfect. Second coat, same as the first. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to black. And oh, we're running out of shade, man. I can keep moving them. Okay, we need to move those rails into the shade. Want to guess what we're doing today? More sunning! Yay! Let's never do this again. Never would be too soon. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I've had it with painting and sanding and taping and and this plastic. I know. The this is wind. like the fifth time we've had to retape this up. Exactly. The wind keeps tearing it down in between our painting days. Yeah, and we gotta tape it up because we gotta like we have to uh wash the bus now to wash all the sanding residue off to get ready for a clear coat tomorrow. And it's just endless. You guys, it has taken us so long and so many layers of paint that look at what is happening to our paper and tape. <laughs> I think it has seen its better days. So we're in the process of retaping and papering yet again in preparation for the final day of spraying. Oh, really? Pretty powerful? Mm -hmm. It just looks like water. Doesn't smell like I water. I promise it's not. This is our pearl. It should be very excellent. We are going to pearl Bussy McBuss face on the green part and the white part. Yes. Oh, there's that funky. Oh, it looks so pretty. It looks like magic. Wow, I love it. There's a lot of pearl in there. It sure is. Getting coffee up for the job ahead? Some things just have to happen. This is our... Thing. So this is a four to one mixture. Um, so that's how we're going to do this today. We're always going to mix prior to pouring. In a small cup. Yeah. That. And this is the uh, activator. I need to put three more ounces in there. Okay. There we go. Okay, need a stick. Ooh, this stuff's a lot thicker. Thinner. Oh, thinner. Yeah. Here we go with clear coat and pearl. Ooh, you can see it immediately. Probably not on camera. Oh, look, the sun is just coming up. We're going to be able to see the pearl when the sun is shining on it.
Can you see the pearl already? Oh, you can. Like, you see all the sparklies? Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. That's only first coat. We're going to do two coats of that? Yep. That's going to be awesome. If I get any drips, this is like universally, when everybody talks about this when you're shooting pearl, if you get any drips or curtains, they will be extremely obvious with pearl and really hard to fix. I don't want that. So, like, so much thought went, how fast am I going to go? How quick am I going to shoot today? You know? And you'll see, like, if you, if you went back a couple videos when we were shooting the, the base coat, the color, um, you would see I was, like, just doing this real slow. With this one, I'm just like... Because if I get one drip, it's all over. It will look dumb. <laughs> My whole life came down to this moment. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. But at least you have coffee. So we mixed up. This is the paint itself, and then this is the activator or hardener that goes with it. And uh, after you mix it, you got to wait 10 minutes for the activator to activate all the chemical reaction to start in there, and then you can shoot. So it's like this. Wonder Twins, activate! Form of pearl paint. Shape of a paint sprayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. It's so beautiful. <laughs> The second coat really does it, man. Nice. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can sure see the difference. Look at the depth you can I see know. in it. I know, it's pretty cool. When you move, you can see glitters of different colors like gold and a bluish and it's so pretty. I have no idea if this camera is able to capture it. I'm just trying. It definitely softened that hard, like shocking green. It softened it a little bit. Yeah, I think you're right. I can't wait till the sun is fully up and we can see it in all its glory. Yeah. Because it's turning out so good, I'm just loving every minute of it. <laughs> He's just over here like a kid on Christmas morning. It's so good. It's just, <laughs> it's softening that super hard green, which I wasn't that concerned about, but it is softening it, which is making it nice. It's giving a depth to the paint that um, I, I just don't, I haven't done this before. And so I didn't know what to expect. And so when it, uh, when it turned out that good, I was just like, Cool, man. That looks good. <laughs> Pat and Colin at Island Wit, you'll be happy to know Mike is wearing your shirt on painting day. That's right. Just for you guys. <laughs> we appreciate it. Love the shirts. Right? Carrie won't let me wear them for anything else. But he got away with it today. Because she didn't notice until now. Like, you always filter. Always, 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 always filter. Because if you don't, then you're going to run into just one little stupid clog in the middle of shooting and it's yeah. gonna make the paint come out funny and it's gonna screw up. It's gonna ruin your whole day. Now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Man, we did a great job taping that though, that it's just all coming off like that. Yeah, it's kinda cool. So pretty. Okay. Eight minutes of coffee. So when Mike makes a flaw, he doesn't mess around. It's the one painting error we made. And it was only stupid because we had a tiny little drip. We shouldn't have touched it. And I wiped it off. Yeah. And then tried to shoot it again. There's a train wreck on the back of our bus. We're just going to call this area scar whatever we're gonna sand that off and fix it with some plastic surgery we're just gonna call it scar for now all 
My evil plan is working! Got it done? Yeah. Nothing to spare. That was it right there. <laughs> you ran out at exactly the time you finished the bus? Well, I gotta be the front one more. Oh, and one more batch, gotcha. So how much did it take for you to do the pearl on the whole bus? For two coats of pearl, we used an entire gallon and one quart, which would make sense, of, of uh, the activator hardener. And that's all it took for the whole bus? For two coats. Wow. Yeah. And we have another gallon left. We could go three coats if we wanted to, uh -huh. or four coats. I don't want to do any more coats. We're done. I said my piece and I counted three. We did all the parts. This is the final clear coat, which we're shooting with no pearl in it. We just didn't want pearl in the black paint. We wanted to have solid black trim and bumpers. So this is just clear coat only. Look at that bumper. Woo! Shiny! Not to forget the ladder gets a coat of clear coat too. Oh, yeah. oh is that one wet? We just had a total catastrophe and one of our black rails fell off right into the dirt when it had just been freshly painted. So we'll have to be doing that over again. I can't get over how glossy this bumper is. What a mirror finish. Hi! And it's not just a coat of clear coat, it's two coats of clear coat. It's the project that just keeps going. And then comes also the constant paper cleanup. Oh yeah, and there's all the little parts. That's it for painting right now. Oh, thank goodness, we get a break. Yeah. Get a break till we have to do touch-ups. Cool thing is we get to pull paper. <laughs> yeah, that's the exciting part. Painting sucks. The finished effect is so cool though, it makes you go through the hell to get the finished effect. Yeah, it does. We're about to pull all of the paper from the whole rest of the bus. Paper and tape, I should say. Oh, it already tore. Don't touch the paint. I know, my tape already tore. Okay, I can't get that tape yet, I'll just get this. You guys, we are having such a rough time getting all the tape and paper off. Because our project took so long to complete, the tape was on the bus for literally weeks, baking in the hot Arizona sun. And so it's just cooked on in some places. It's so hard to remove. I have to say though, we did learn, and this is a tip for your future projects, like only buy the blue tape, for sure, only buy the blue tape. What is it, 3M? Yeah. Blue tape. We tried other <laughs> brands like cheaper brands from Ace Hardware and other places and the orange tape was terrible. The beige tape was terrible. Green it just left terrible. green tape is terrible. It just leaves glue all over the glass or the metal or whatever it's taped to. And the blue tape generally comes off really, really well and doesn't leave any goo behind. We just like I said, we left it on too long and it's a little bit tough to get off of the aluminum around the windows and places like that. She loses her grip, the tape could rip. Finally, we're done with a multiple weeks long project. Would we do it again? That's questionable. That was a lot of tease. It was a lot of work. It was more work than I thought it was going to be, like every project on the bus. But, um, I love how it turned out. It was yeah. so shocking green when we first painted it, even though I liked it. I liked that Mountain Dew. Just, nailed it green and for those of you who guessed correctly congratulations i know to all two of you off. who guessed correctly right right off the bat <laughs> two of you got it two of you got the hint but uh once we put the pearl on here 
it just it kind of knocked the color down, made it more creamy, more depth to it. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's beautiful. So good. I don't know if the camera is picking up how it looks in real life. It's so beautiful yeah. with that shimmer and sheen. There's a couple things aren't that aren't on here. We got some trim that goes here. We may or may not show that. You'll yeah. see it. Oh my gosh, we have a lot to do. We have to put back all the um, headlights and tail lights and the bumper. So you will eventually see the complete and finished project, but we got to cut this video off now yeah. <laughs> or we won't have time to edit. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Hit the like button if you like our new bus like color. Like it, absolutely. You have to like this video. Because <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> a lot of hard work. There's more to come. We're so close. We are so close. There's going to be a lot more of Carrie in the videos, a lot more of me behind the camera coming up soon. So thanks for watching, guys. We love you. See you next week.